On the battlefield, execution was used to enforce discipline. The British alone executed 300 soldiers accused of cowardice and desertion. Recently, these men have been retrospectively diagnosed as suffering the mental illness known as post-traumatic stress disorder. In 1994, British Prime Minister John Major refused to give a posthumous pardon to the men wrongly executed. In Russia in 1918, the civil war following the Russian Revolution witnessed wholesale executions by the gun. The ascent of Joseph Stalin as Soviet leader in 1924 saw execution put to a new use. Execution would be used as a method of social engineering. Middle-class peasants, called the Kulaks, would be systematically executed in order to shape a new society. In China at the same time, the nationalist leader, General Chiang Kai-shek, believed he could solve the endemic drug problem by executions. He issued orders that, as of January 1st, 1937, all those found guilty of drug addiction would be executed. Thousands of empty coffins were placed on the street as a message to the populace. Chiang Kai-shek was prepared to execute up to 50 million drug users in China to wipe out the scourge of opium addiction that had plagued China for centuries. At the Justice Building in Shanghai, death sentences were handed down with a minimum of formality. The prisoners were taken from there in a police van to the place of execution. Once there, the convicted addicts are surrounded by security guards while judges sign their execution papers, later to be thrown on the ground in front of them when they are shot. The condemned are given absolution by a priest before the final moment. One at a time, they are led to a clearing in the field, where they are neither given blindfold nor a hood. They are dispensed with by a single shot to the back of the head. Dozens would be executed in a day. Chiang Kai-shek's use of execution to solve the drug problem failed. However, in 1995, the US government has resurrected the killing of non-violent drug dealers as a method of solving their social problems. Five other countries also kill drug offenders as a matter of policy. The use of execution as a tool of social policy was to be taken to its horrific limits in Germany from 1933 to 1945. When the Nazi party came to power, the death penalty was limited to older methods the gun, hanging, and the guillotine. In one of the Nazi government's first moves, judges were forced to abandon political neutrality and swear allegiance to the party leader, Adolf Hitler. On September the 15th, 1935, judges sanctioned the Nuremberg Laws, legislation which stripped Jewish citizens of all rights under German law. The death penalty was not to be enacted with laws, but by removing people from the law, laws protecting citizens from the executioner. For the invasion of the Soviet Union in 1941, the Nazis gathered together the greatest number of executioners ever assembled. This is Lieutenant Hartwig Nade, a former clerk and leader of the Reserve Police Battalion 101. This dad's army of mostly middle-aged men policed the conquered lands of the Reich. Nade's men were assembled on July the 12th, 1942. Their commanding officer told them their real task, to shoot men, women and children. He made an offer. Any of the older men who objected could leave. In the silence that followed, only one man immediately refused to become an executioner. The killing tour of Battalion 101 had begun. At Jozeflau, the battalion doctor instructed how to humanely kill with a shot to the head. But policemen missed shots and became covered in blood. 
Next month at Lomashi, Nade formed a firing squad to distance his executioners from the bodies. As the killing took its psychological toll, the alcohol ration was doubled. By the time the battalion reached Sarakomla, the men were regularly required to kill babies, and most made themselves drunk before loading their guns. From September, the battalion began rounding up Jews to send to the new killing centers. Jews in hiding were rounded up and shot in so-called Jew hunts from July. The killings reached their nadir in 1943. The battalion took machine guns to Maidanic death camp. Officers blared music to cover the shooting as 16,500 were killed in a day. The next day the music moved to Poinatova. 14,000 died. By the time the tour ended, 38,000 men, women and children had been killed by a battalion of less than 500 men. Nade's battalion was just one of at least 16 specialist killing squads that toured occupied Europe in 1942 and 1943. In one year they executed 1.4 million Jews. In August 1941, Hitler's deputy Himmler watched a demonstration by a mobile killing squad in Minsk. Himmler was splattered by blood and recognized the psychological toll shooting was taking on his executioners. Himmler ordered the development of a new killing method, more humane than shooting. In keeping with the century's myth, this humane technique was not designed to spare the condemned, it was to assist the executioner. Humanity equals efficiency, and millions more were to die. Christian Wirth of the SS Criminal Police answered Himmler's call to make execution humane. Wirth developed sealed vans that could be filled with the poisonous gas, carbon monoxide. In 1942, Jews were taken by train to a new camp at Hromno, where carbon monoxide from motor engines replaced the gun. Tank engines were later installed to make permanent gas chambers, often disguised as shower rooms. German executioners tuned diesel engines to maximize the output of poison gas. The engines were put to work in Treblinka, Sobibor and Belzec. 1.7 million were executed by carbon monoxide in the space of a year. Ordinary exhaust fumes killed more people in the Holocaust than any other method. By spring of 1942, plans were underway for a purpose-built centre based on a new execution technique. Auschwitz was built with four gas chambers using a rat poison found effective in experiments at killing people. This poison, cyanide acid, was known by its trade name Zyklon B. Pellets dropped into the chambers killed all those inside within minutes. Executions peaked at Auschwitz in the spring of 1944. 10,000 Jews were killed every day. The 120 German staff managed to execute 1.2 million people in 24 months at Auschwitz. Cyanide gas killed 100,000 more at Majdanek. In Nazi Germany, the more humane the executions became, the greater the number who died. During the war, Germany was not the only state conducting mass executions. The Japanese invaders of China executed 200,000 civilians. Allied forces in their push for Berlin routinely executed spies. Three Nazi soldiers caught behind our lines.